In this video, we are going to discuss the derivatives of higher order. Now, if y is a function of x, then the first derivative of the function is written as f prime x or dy by dx. So far, we have been dealing only with the first derivative of the function. Now, since the first derivative of a function is itself a function, that is, it is a derived function which is derived from a primitive function, it should be differentiable with respect to x, provided it is continuous and smooth. Since the first derivative is itself a function, it can therefore be differentiated again and the result of this differentiation is known as the second derivative of the function and it is denoted by f double prime x or d square y by dx square which is equal to derivative with respect to x of the first derivative dy by dx. Again, since the second derivative is a function of x, it can be differentiated with respect to x again to produce a third derivative, which in turn can be the source of a fourth derivative and so on as long as differentiability condition is met. Given a function y equals f of x, the first derivative of a function is denoted by f prime x or dy by dx. The derivatives of higher order can be represented as the second derivative of a function is denoted by f double prime x or d square y by dx square which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the first derivative that is dy by dx. The third derivative of a function is denoted by f triple prime x or d cube y by dx cube which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the second derivative or d square y by dx square. The fourth derivative of a function can be denoted as f 4x or d to the power 4y by dx to the power 4 which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the third derivative or d cube y by dx cube and so on. Let us now do some problem on the derivatives of higher order. Given a function, they have asked to find the second and third derivatives. In order to find the second and third derivatives, first we need to find the first derivative of the function. The first derivative of the function is denoted by dy by dx. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative with respect to x of y which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of ax square plus bx plus c. In the given problem, a, b and c are constant parameters. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to derivative with respect to x of ax square plus derivative with respect to x of bx plus derivative with respect to x of c. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of ax square is equal to a times the derivative with respect to x of x square. Again, using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of bx is equal to b times the derivative with respect to x of x. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of constant c is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x b times 1 is equal to b. So the first derivative is equal to 2ax plus b. Let us now proceed to find the second derivative. The second derivative which is denoted by d square y by dx square is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the first derivative of the function. The first derivative of the function derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2ax plus b. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of 2ax plus b is equal to derivative with respect to x of 2ax plus derivative with respect to x of b. In this case 2 and a are constant. Using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 2ax is equal to 2a times the derivative with respect to x of x. 
using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of b is equal to 0 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 2a times 1 is equal to 2a so the second derivative of the function is equal to 2a let us now proceed to find the third derivative of the function the third derivative of the function which is denoted by d cube y by dx cube is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the second derivative the second derivative of the function is equal to 2a since both 2 and a are constant using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of 2a is equal to 0 therefore the second derivative of the function is equal to 2a and the third derivative of the function is equal to 0 let us now look at the second problem y is equal to 4x to the power 4 minus 3x minus 4 the first derivative of the function is denoted by dy by dx dy by dx that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y which is equal to d dx of 4x to the power 4 minus 3x minus 4 using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of 4x to the power 4 minus 3x minus 4 is equal to derivative with respect to x of 4x to the power 4 minus derivative with respect to x of 3x minus derivative with respect to x of 4 using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 4x to the power 4 is equal to 4 times the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 4 again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 3x is equal to 3 times the derivative with respect to x of x using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of 4 is equal to 0 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 4 is equal to 4 x to the power 4 minus 1 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 4 times 4 equals 16 x to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 3 or x cubed minus 3 times 1 is equal to 3 let us now proceed to find the second derivative the second derivative denoted by d square y by dx square is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the first derivative of the function that is dy by dx the first derivative of the function is equal to 16x cube minus 3 using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of 16x cube minus 3 is equal to the derivative with respect to x of 16x cube minus the derivative with respect to x of 3 using the constant times of function rule the derivative with respect to x of 16x cube is equal to 16 times the derivative with respect to x of x cube using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of constant 3 is equal to 0 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x cube is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 16 times 3 equals 48 x to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 2 or x square so the second derivative of the function is equal to 48 x square let us now proceed to find the third derivative of the function the third derivative of the function which is denoted by d cube y by dx cube is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the second derivative of the function the second derivative of the function is equal to 48 x square using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 48 x square is equal to 48 times the derivative with respect to x of x square the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 48 times 2 equals 96 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x so the third derivative of the function is equal to 96 x therefore the second derivative of the function is equal to 48 x square and the third derivative of the function is equal to 96 x